Welcome along to another video presentation from Saturn Alliance. Help us continue to make material like this available. If you find this video beneficial, we would ask you to make a donation towards helping us improve what we currently provide. All donations, no matter how small, will ensure the continuation and improvement of our offerings. To make a donation, please go to donation.satinalliance.com.au. In this video, we will have a look at the integration features available between Outlook 2007 and SharePoint 2007. So if we bring up our SharePoint 2007 site, first thing that we will look at is the integration with document library. So we select our document library, in this case of policies, and if we go to the actions menu, we'll see that there is an option here called connect to Outlook which allows us to synchronize items and make them available offline. So we simply select this, and with Outlook open, we'll get a message popping up asking us whether we want to connect with the SharePoint library. We simply click yes, and what you'll see down the bottom is that we have in Outlook a folder called SharePoint Lists Created, under which you'll see the document library name, and here you will see the documents that are listed. Again, if we click in any of these, you'll see that they are viewable. And again, because we're using Outlook 2007, it includes a PDF viewer. So again, we are able to not only view these files, but when we take Outlook offline or away from SharePoint, these documents remain with Outlook and available offline. The next point that we'll look at for the integration with Outlook is calendars. So if we go back to home and we then select our calendar, as you can see there are a number of dates in here. So again, to link with Outlook all we do is simply select actions, connect with Outlook, select this option again, we're prompted once again to share our information with Outlook. We simply go yes and under calendars we can now see that we have our normal calendar. We also have our SharePoint calendar. As you can see we've got our SharePoint calendar here from our demo site on the right and our normal calendar here on the left. So for example, as you can see at the moment, we've got Christmas Day marked, but no Boxing Day. So to bring that across, we can simply select from our SharePoint site and drag and drop into our normal calendar. What we can also do with Outlook 2007 is we can view calendar on calendar. So if I go up to this arrow here, you can see that I can view in overlay mode. So if I select that, We'll now see that both calendars are displayed. Here I can see my normal calendar events marked in a shaded blue. And if I select on my normal calendar, which is blue, you'll see that the reverse is true. The shaded events in Outlook appear in a lighter green color. So as you can see, we've got a bit of a mistake here. We've got a casual Friday actually occurring on a Saturday. So to show you that these calendars are dynamic, we go back to our calendar in SharePoint, click on Casual Friday, we go in and we edit the properties and we change the date for this appointment to being the correct date of the 14th being a Friday. As you can see, our calendar is now updated. Casual Friday now occurs on a Friday. If we go back to our calendar and Outlook, we'll see it still says the 15th here, but if we simply go to somewhere else and then come back, you'll notice that the calendar has updated and our Casual Friday now appears on Friday the 14th instead of the 15th. So again, the linking between the calendars in SharePoint and Outlook 2007 is dynamic. 
So let's look at the third integration feature of SharePoint and Outlook 2007. As you know, SharePoint 2007 is RSS enabled. RSS means really simple syndication. This allows us to pull information from a site, in this case SharePoint, and view it in a tool rather than having to go to the site to constantly look at the information. So in this case, what we're going to look at is we will look at a list, which is our suggestions, and we are going to link this to Outlook 2007 via RSS feeds. So again, we simply, from Actions menu on the area that we want to syndicate, we simply select View RSS Feed. This will then list us a standard RSS feed. What we can then do is take a copy of the address line return to our Outlook, look at our folders lists, and in here you'll see in Outlook 2007 RSS feeds. So again, we simply can right mouse click on this. We can then select add a new RSS feed. Here we paste the address from our SharePoint site and go add. We select advanced if we want to change any of the features listed here but normally we would just go yes and what you'll see is that it has created our RSS feed from our SharePoint site under the RSS feeds you'll see that the item that appears in here is the same item that appears in our standard RSS feed from SharePoint Again, if we go back to Outlook, you can see that we can actually view the article by simply clicking on it, and it will bring up the item in SharePoint. So, in summary, there are three ways in which you can link SharePoint into Outlook 2007. The first way is to take documents offline simply select the document library required, go to Actions, go to Connect to Outlook. This will create a SharePoint Lists item in your Outlook and then allow you to view the files and allow them to be taken offline. The second part of SharePoint that allows the connection with Outlook is via a calendar. So again, select any calendar in SharePoint, go to Actions, and again, select Connect to Outlook. Once you've connected, if you go into your Outlook calendar area, you'll see that you have multiple calendars. And the, one of the benefits of Outlook 2007 is, is you can put them in overlay mode so you're able to see both appointments in one simple viewing. Finally, you can view most SharePoint content via RSS feeds. Simply select the content that you wish to view via RSS, select Actions, go View RSS Feed, take a copy of the address line and then paste it into the RSS feeds area in Outlook 2007. And this will then be added to your RSS feeds. You can then simply click on the feed as it appears to actually view the article from the SharePoint list. Once again, this has been a video presentation from Saturn Alliance. We appreciate you taking the time to view it. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to robert at satinalliance.com.au. Thank you for watching.